two ordinary men and women undergo demanding challenges as they compete for a place at a specialist spy school and the chance to be a spy master. the continent answer an advert. They've watched James Bond films, read Jack Ryan, and think they have what it takes to become a spy. All were interviewed. 32 possibles were selected. I had absolute clarity in thinking in intense situations. I love the idea of the adventure. I just think I could rise to the challenge of an espionage agent, and it's something that really suits me down to the ground. 24 men. I can play the game, I can just uh, stay calm and stay cool. Eight women. I think mostly I'm adaptable. I've moved around a lot. All competing for places at a specialist spy school. In an isolated part of the English countryside, experts from around the globe have gathered secrets from the CIA, MI6 and the KGB to build a crash course in the most up-to-date espionage techniques. Anyone attending the school will learn covert surveillance, self-defense, hostile interrogation, all the tradecraft of the modern spy. But there are only 12 places available. To gain a place at the school, the 32 recruits must prove their mettle. They'll be pushed to the limit in a series of grueling exercises. Spy trainers and a dozen specialists will be putting them through their paces and monitoring their progress. After a late night briefing and only a couple of hours sleep, their first task is to run up Penny Fan in the Brecon Beacons, training grounds for the SAS. It's 4.8 kilometers and a 456 meter climb to the top. But this isn't just a physical challenge, it's a memory exercise. You will be given approximately 30 seconds to remember as many items as you can. Stand by. Go. And to make it harder to remember anything, they will be pushed to the point of exhaustion. Three, two, one. 710 meters. Grid 004208. Bravo! Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! What do you want to do? Yeah, go back in. And having all the, yeah, the memory um, on top of the uh, tiredness we're all going to feel at the end of this, it's going to be really, really tough. Over the next 36 hours, the physical and mental pressure will take all 32 recruits to breaking point. Only those that make it through will have a chance to go forward to the spy school. Two hours later, and the recruits are on the streets of Chelmer. Okay, guys, can you stay in your same groups and line up two lines? Along a mile and a half route around the town centre, a series of scenarios await the recruits. At each, they must gather intelligence, see it, hear it, or photograph it. Overseeing the exercise is Terry Rigglesford, covert surveillance specialist. Also on the street, Josie Walker, expert in counterintelligence. Unknown to the recruits, they will be tailed by undercover agents who will be filming them with hidden cameras. The aim is to see which of them can collect the intelligence whilst blending into the crowd, invisible to the general public. In order to be a covert operator, you need to be the grand man. You need to blend in with the environment and be able to gather lots of information, assimilate that information without looking as any panicking on the outside. The recruits have just one hour to complete the exercise. It's time to find out who really has the makings of a secret agent. Task one, the recruits have been shown surveillance footage of a target. They know she'll be drinking in a particular cafe. Their mission is to find and photograph her without being spotted. Took a picture uh, very cleverly as he walked. 
the bike. The only thing is he didn't pause enough for it to uh, focus, so it's probably going to be a blurred picture. 30 minutes to go. Memorise the inscription on the park bench. The hard part is working around the mother and child planted in the way. Twenty minutes left. Identify an agent in the street from a Polaroid photograph seen 12 hours ago. Approach him with a memorized password. Receive a password in exchange. Memorize that and continue. The ability to operate under extreme mental pressure, while on the outside appearing natural, is one of the essential aspects of agent tradecraft and is drummed into CIA, KGB and MI6 trainees over and over again. Across rough countryside, a three-mile route has been marked out with colored glow sticks. The recruits will have to navigate their way along the course in the pitch black, with no maps or torches, moving from marker to marker. This is a solo exercise. They will set off at one-minute intervals and mustn't speak to or be seen by other recruits. You set yourselves off, you choose the order, you use your initiative tonight. Okay? Three, two... One At each of the three red markers, they must make contact with a friendly agent and receive a password. Doing this while remaining hidden from the other recruits will take patience and skill. simplest tasks become difficult and the recruits have now been on the go for 22 hours it's now 3 a.m we've just finished this exercise we've all been up for about 24 hours um, we've done a lot of stuff today everybody's very tired we've told them off you go to bed seven o'clock ready for pt in the morning so they're going to get a lane till seven o'clock in reality what's going to happen they're going to be woken up with an explosion in a couple of hours and then run ragged for a couple of hours. Good morning, gentlemen. One minute outside, please. One minute. One minute. One minute. Let's go. One minute. Let's go. Let's go. Outside. Secret agent. Since then, they've been run ragged, had their mental skills challenged and their aptitude tested. With only a few hours sleep, they are nearing exhaustion. Only those that make it to the end will be in the running for a place at the spy school. And now they face their toughest day. Okay, relax and rest stand still. Okay, we're approaching what we may our last few hours on the selection process. But today is a very testing day. If you really want this thing, we're looking for a certain type of person. And it may actually be quite surprising the certain type of person we're looking for. Is everybody happy this morning? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes? Is everybody yes. happy? Yes, sir. Yvonne, how are you doing? Cool. Yeah? Okay, I've got a top idea to warm us up. Okay. Hands on your hips. Nice bit of hip rotations. I'm looking for people that can think when they are tired. I'm looking for people who can control their body when they're tired. People who can supply their own motivation. A back turn. A back turn. That's two back turns. Sit down. Stand up. Run round clockwise. Run round clockwise. It is tiring. I mean, I smoke 30 fags a day. I have been doing exercise for years, years and years and years. I think the last time I went to the gym was to go to the bar. Um, and uh, I'm feeling it. My legs and my arms and my stomach muscles. And um, I've thrown up a few times. The tests begin at Hollybush Quarry. Beneath the calm surface, the water is a freezing two degrees centigrade. To jump in unprotected could risk the body going into shock. People have died here and the site is closed to the general public. What we are going to do is swim across an enclosed piece of water and then cross the manila rope 
and perform a full ring game. You are now going to be demonstrated that manoeuvre and what is required. Be aware as he moves over the rope, he'll do a couple of short shifts. Notice how his right leg is hooked on the rope and his chest is on the rope with his left leg dangling down to balance his body. From here, he will perform a full regain, making sure everybody watches, swings down, row back on the rope, and he will there assist his body in swinging round and adopting the same position he set off in. across. Even wearing wetsuits, the hand-over-hand -hand struggle to reach the end is tough. Today we'll find out who has the grit, the determination and the stamina to get to the end. The regain looks like a physical test. In fact, strength alone won't get you back onto the rope. Only those that watched the demonstration carefully and noted the technique will be able to do it. It's so disorientating. The rope itself looks like it's just swinging madly. It's a very uh, unusual sensation when you're on there and you're trying to correct and you overcorrect and, you know, you're in the drink. People have never done anything like this before. They've probably, probably never done any rope work at all, let alone a regain across a quarry. And after the weekend I've had so far, he's doing incredibly well to get this far. After a three-minute struggle, Gary Sargent finally admits defeat. Of all 32 recruits, Steve Feasy was one of only two who managed the regain. With one final task remaining, the committed are starting okay. to show themselves. But of those who make it to the end, only the best 12 will gain a place at the spy school. There are reckoned to be 120 spy schools around the world, most of them hidden, their workings secret. The British government still doesn't acknowledge the existence of spy schools. Few people are party to such secrets, and 32 men and women are competing for the opportunity to enter this hidden world. All they have to do is make it through one final test. They don't know it yet, but they're about to take a death-defying leap of faith. The highest point on East Moor Castle is 50 meters above the ground. At the top, each recruit will be attached to a rope. Their task is then to simply walk over the edge, face forward, and slide down the rope to the ground. Anyone would find this a test of nerves, but after 48 hours of exhausting mental and physical tests, emotions worn thin from lack of sleep, it presents a real challenge. Push your hips forward, push your hips forward. Good man, we go. Push, get, get, on you go. Get, on you go. Do not do anything, okay? Okay, right hand on the rope. Stand up on the parapet. If you want two hands on the rope, yeah. two hands on the rope, we'll come free. Okay, yeah. push your hips forward, push your hips forward. I've been told you have said the whole thing. Okay, I've got you, I've got you, you're all right. Good. Good. Go on. Time is up. Their tests are over. These 32 men and women have been pushed to the edge in a series of grueling physical and mental challenges. All have shown the grit and determination to make it to the end. All have had the nerve to jump off the side of a 50 meter high castle tower. But the spy trainers are looking for other qualities as well. Independence of mind, the ability to lead, 
Mental agility when exhausted. Ability to blend into the crowd. 32 want it, but only 12 can go forward to the spy school. It's time to see who is in and who is out. I'd like to think that I've got a chance of going through. I've actually surprised myself, and I'm just, I'm just confident that they're going through. At a secret location in an isolated part of the English countryside, they will learn secrets from the heart of the KGB, CIA, and MI6. They'll be taught by a team of spy trainers led by Barry Davies, specialist in counter-terrorism and special operations. 32 volunteers try to prove they have the guts, determination, intelligence, physical fitness and aptitude to enter the hidden world of the spy. Only 12 made the grade. Yeah, I think I've performed okay, uh, certainly to the best of my ability, I think. A natural. You just blended in so well. It didn't bother me being under pressure or being pushed, because in some ways that's kind of like, I, I enjoy that and I get, a, I get a kick out of that. The information gathering kind of surprised myself, just how I had this kind of retention, and um, I don't know, my ability to just, just perform under this kind of barracking and all the beast thing. He was just ready to take anything we threw at him, um, and he did so very well. In fact, he, he didn't manage to do the weekend, did he? Yeah, yeah. Physically, he, he was outstanding and never made an issue of it. He just got on and did it. I thought, brilliant, we've got a really good girl here, but then... When it came to showing a bit of... Uh, courage and determination to get on with something that might be a little difficult. She failed miserably. I've done my best. Um, I've had a good go at everything. I've tried to push myself, which I've had to do quite frequently. She's got lots of drive, lots of determination. She'll try anything. She'll have a go at anything. She wants to do it the second time around because she didn't get it right the first time. So, yeah, top girl and she's in. All I wanted to make sure I could do was make it all the way through and, that was, and do the best I could and that was the most important thing to do. I like Liam and I think he's got promise. If I was a betting man as an outsider I'd bet on myself as a personal. Yeah, I, I think I should go through. David, as, as good as he was at all the skills, is just too big a person. His personality can never be subdued enough to do this job. <laughs> recruits are taken to the school blindfolded to preserve the secrecy of the location. This is what they have struggled for for the last 48 hours. This is their prize. Completely overawed and really excited about what's going to happen because it's, it's the real stuff now. Target located. I really wanted to do this and uh, I'm glad to be here and I want to do this to the end. This place is fantastic. It's um, certainly far better than being in mid Wales somewhere on some grossy camp site. It's strange. I have to say I'm probably more nervous about this than I was about the selection weekend. And I feel suddenly like I've swam you know, away from shore and it's just vanished off the horizon. There is no easy way out. I think it's quite exciting. We've been told that we're going to be doing things like um, self-defence, pushing locks, firearms, comms. And I can't wait to get home and throw my husband who's six foot two in a rugby club. That'd be really good. <laughs> but the trials aren't over. You were told when you came, have a cover story. Forget the old you, think of the new you. When you go upstairs, you'll we'll find a bag on your bed. Get rid of the old you by placing anything that can identify you at the moment inside the bag. Because after tomorrow, if I find anything on you, which can tell me who you are. The old you. They can't. As they learn the arts of surveillance and silent killing, they will be continuously assessed. They will be pushed to the limits of their abilities, stretched in ways they didn't know were possible. And at any point, day or night, any who are failing to make the grade will be removed from the course. This will be the toughest, the most challenging ten days of their lives. Only the best will make it through.